You guys might have outdone yourselves this week. Yo, girl, no, no. It's King Brew Pair. What is up, Yugi Bro Bros? Today we have a ton of fan mail to open. But really quick, before I get started with all that, if you want to send me your fan mail, the P.O. Box is 1391, Owasso, Oklahoma, 74055. And if you want cards signed and sent back to you, then be sure to address and stamp an envelope in with your cards that you want signed so I have something to send them back in. And I did have to pay a lot in postage today, guys. So if you guys do want to help out with that and keep the series going, the link to my Patreon is down. Down in the description. But that covers everything, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do the box last. Let's start with this envelope. Let's just start with a normal envelope here. Like, this is kind of like tape, so I'm gonna try not to like tear anything up. Perfect, perfect. All right, so we have cards to sign. Awesome. We have, it looks like a return envelope. Nice return envelope and a letter. Let's go ahead and see what this says. All right, Yugi No No, big fan since day one. Enjoy the gifts from me to you. Please sign the card sent from a dick slap, a dip slap, dick slap. Monger? D dick slap monger? What is what is that? A uh, gifts of uh, more gifts? What? <laughs> All right, let's, let's see what this says. So please sign. He wants me to sign a black wing gale, the whirlwind, and a tree born frog. So let's go ahead and get these signed. That is awesome. So we got these signed now. Let's see what he sent me. Probably larvae moss. <laughs> Probably larvae moss. Oh hey, that's nice for straight goat stuff. Not nice. Dude, very nice, very nice. So goat stuff, maybe more goat stuff. Oh, dude. <laughs> hey, a chimera tech. A Trishula. What? I don't have a Trishula, dude, thank you so much. I don't have a Trish, I really don't. That is killer, dude, thank you so much. And I'm Trishula, another Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, can never have enough of those around. And a Zappy on the Time Lord. Thank you so, so, so much, dude. I really appreciate it. I will be sure to get these back to you. All right, you guys, next envelope, next envelope. Let's see, it looks like I can get this. I can just rip that off, sweet, that worked out great. <laughs> All right, we have some cards to sign. What is this? Oh, a Karib, what? A Karibo pin, that is way cool, dude. That is way, way cool. And then what is this? Oh, oh it's a structure deck map. I don't think I have this one. No, this is a starter deck, Matt. I don't think I have this one in particular. If you guys didn't know, I do collect these. I have, a, I have one of my legendary collection boxes, you know, similar to what I keep your fan mail in, but it's like full of like these starter deck and structure deck mats that I collect. Okay, so, uh, oh, so return address. So he sent me a return address on that. Okay, so I'll use one of my envelopes. That is fine. All right, so dear Yugi Jesus, my name is Leonard. My YouTube name is Hypno Panda. I've been a fan of yours for a while now. I've always loved your skits and deck profiles. Make a cyber Dragon link deck, please. Oh, I've done two of them now, dude. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Catch up. I also love that you're into Cyber Dragons, too. They're my favorite archetype. I'm sending you this to tell you how spank my ass and call me Sally Awesome you are. <laughs> And to keep up the great work within this letter, I have sent eight cards and the white and white protectors for you to sign and send back, as well as I have six, sent six cards and black sleeves for you to keep. Oh, thank you so much. I also have a couple of requests. Uh, say on face cam, Tristan, your cyber angel deck is lame. Duelist Kingdom or bust. He's my friend, so it's cool. Uh, to make. Please make a skit video either making fun of my tryhards at locals or players using a Yugi deck that use a dual disc and act like anime characters at locals. Also, interesting story. My father actually knew Pantera before they got big. Yeah, dude. Uh, he would hang and drink a beer with them at lo local bars. In fact, I have a videotape of my father running across the stage of one of their shows. The reason is because Dimebag told my dad, okay, this is, there's going to be a producer in the crowd tonight. I need you to go crazy up, up on stage and act like you're having the time of your life. Wow, that's that's a good dime bag story. Another sad but interesting fact, Dime Bag Darrow actually passed away on my fourth birthday. Oh, that sucks, dude. Uh, sorry if, if that depressed you. I just wanted to tell you some stories about Pantera. Always, this is getting long. Anyways, this is getting long, so see you later, buddy. Uh, P.S. Who needs larvae moth when you got cyber larva? <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, guys. All right. That is just crazy. I need to make, like, a cyber larva deck. That was a cool story. I like hearing Dime Bag stories. We have a Berserker Soul to sign, a Raging Flame Sprite, a Cyber End Dragon, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Dragon, Crimson Nova, Trinity, the Dark Cubic Lord, uh, Cyber Dragon, of course, Cyber uh, Laser Dragon, and the Seal of Ori Calcos. Let's go ahead and get these signed. All right, we got all these signed. Let's see what he sent me. Let's see what he sent me to keep. Probably Larvae Moss. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to keep saying that until I get more Larvae Moss. I want to own all the Larvae Moss. All right, he sent me the Mass Beast. Hey, and the, and the uh, ritual that goes with it. Very cool. Uh, Yosinju Shinachu are Cyber Larva. Cyber Larva, the new Larvae Moth. Is it really? 
like, is that the, the, the new larvae moth? I guess it combines the, you know, larvae moth with cyber dragon, so yeah, I guess it makes sense. Hey, I'm Burry Mail Bistius. Very cool, very cool. And a perform a pie, perform, uh, perform a pal odd eyes mini Taurus. Hey, very cool. This actually completes my playset. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, dude. And one more thing. Tristan, your cyber angel deck is lame. Duelist Kingdom or bust. All right, so next up, let's open up this package. I'm like, the, the anticipation's been killing me, so we're gonna skip the other envelope for now. We're gonna open that up next, and let's just let's go ahead and do uh, this package, because usually I do like, you know, uh, uh, smallest to biggest, I think, but usually, at least I try to. And, but I'm gonna go, go ahead and open this. I really wanna see what this stuff is. You guys sent me some awesome stuff. You guys are great. You guys are the best fans ever. All right, so it looks like he sent me a whole other uh, envelope to send stuff back in, all right? Uh, dick slapped. Oh no! <laughs> All right, so um, so uh, there's oh man, two two rubber band things of cards. Wow, wow. All right, so dick slapped times infinity. <laughs> okay, Let's see what this says. Dear Yugi, no, no, I love your skit videos and countdowns. You're the funniest of the Yugi tubers. I promise, I'm not uh, sucking up. You should do a top five or ten worst and best boss monsters. Not a bad idea. My favorite decks to play are Cybers, ABC, Fluffles, Light Swarms, uh, Lyris, Lyrisic, and Trains. I, I, yeah, I forget how to say that name. But yeah, I, I know what archetype you're talking about. Some of the newer ones. The cards in the clear sleeves I want you to sign so my deck can be blessed by Yugi Jesus. There's a stamped envelope inside with a stamp. Cool. I left your address blank because I didn't know how you how you did it. Yeah, I'll, I'll fill it in. It's fine. Uh, the cards in uh, Yugi, uh, Yugi sleeves are for you to keep. I hope you like them. Have a great day and keep up the great work from Diego. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, so he the cards in the clear sleeves. He wants me to sign and send back. So let's go ahead and see what these are. Hey, very very cool. Oh man, do you have like, oh, he sent me a place of cyber dragons? What? A, a reflation? Oh man, he's a madman. He sent me some awesome stuff. Sent me a fright for a wolf, a giant rex, it looks like a fluffle dog, the super rare fluffle dog, um, curry bandits, uh, trap tricks, reflasia, the play set of cyber dragons, very cool, prediction princess, uh, terra tray, um, uh, solar recharge, a uh, celestia, light sword angel, BLS himself, and Castell. Let's get these signed. All right, I got all of those signed. Let's see what he sent me to keep. I can't, oh my gosh, he sent me a bunch of stuff. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, hey, <laughs> some tokens, some more fan made tokens. I love it when you guys do this stuff. Hold on a second, hold on a second. This one was just the closest one to me, but you guys also make like these awesome, awesome fake cards. They're freaking great. And then, oh, an ether. Hey, thank you, dude. I always love, I always love monarchs. And he sent me a cyber dragon. Very cool. And an obelisk, the torments Wow, dude, thank you so much. I, I have more tokens to use now. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to fill in the address and get these all back to you. All right, last envelope before the mystery box. All right, so let's see what we have here. All right, so there's a letter and we have the return envelope. Yeah, I do recommend a double stamping if you guys do send a lot of stuff so the po post office doesn't hold your junk because sometimes they'll like hold your stuff and it'll, it'll be like, you know, I didn't send it out, but I did. <laughs> like it's just the post office, they're holding it because you owe postage on it, which you guys like, you know, uh, you guys will send me like really thick envelopes, you know, and I'll pay like the two bucks or whatever, or the 50 cents, just, it depends on how much over uh, and weight the uh, envelopes are. But yeah, um, I do recommend double stamping or triple stamping stuff if you guys send me a lot, you know, like because they, they charge a lot. But anyways, anyways. Uh, so dear Yugi no no, Yugi etc etc. My name is Kale, I'm 18 and I'm writing this letter August 21st. I'm preparing to go to college for music and Christian ministry. Speaking of music, one of my big reasons your channel stuck out from the rest to me was your awesome, awesome taste in music. I listen to just about anything except mainstream pop and rap. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat. But my favorites are bands like Metallica, Wage War, and Avenged Sevenfold. I uh, have also been playing guitar since I was nine. This is the first time I've actually sent any sort of fan mail, so sorry if this turns out to, <laughs> too long. It's fine. The main reason I decided to do, uh, do it was because I actually felt like I had the chance of you actually seeing it. Because most of the YouTubers I watch are way too popular for that. My Yu-Gi-Oh career, as some call it, started when I was around the age of seven or eight, when my cousin gave me a whole box full of cards. I had no clue how to play the game, but dang, the cards look cool. So much cooler than Pokemon, which is what a lot of my friends liked instead. I was a Digimon kid, oh god. I didn't uh, learn how to play the game in, uh, until I got Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship 2008 for my DS. Eventually I grew out of it, and the uh, box of cards uh, gathered a lot of dust. However, around 2015, I was at church camp, and one of my friends, JP, uh, bought some packs on, on the boardwalk. This reinvigorated my interest in the game, as I now had someone to 
play with uh, because as a kid the only times I played in real life uh, were with uh, were with some uh, neighbor kids that I had to cheat against to win which I'm not proud of apparently they didn't buy, uh, buy me telling them that acts of despair let me tribute one of their monsters instead of <laughs> mine to bring it back to the field what <laughs> that's bad uh, after uh, getting uh, back into the game I, I just went crazy and played it and bought as much as I could at this moment in time I had these decks blue eyes red eyes Exodia, Light Swarms, Relinquished, Kaijus. I uh, actually obtained the idea from you and David 1212's vid. Yeah, yeah, that was a fun deck. Uh, Rock Defense with Exod. Oh, I remember that deck. Um, Synchro, uh, Perform Eyes, uh, Perform Power, uh, Odd Eyes, Troll deck. Oh, God. Uh, Aroma, Jar, Burn, and Boost. Elemental Heroes, uh, Spell Counters, Dinosaurs, ABCs, and XCs in progress. Cubics in progress, and Magician Girls in prog progress. Basically, now that I've rambled about my life story, you will find uh, three... Uh, uh, sleeves of cards. The pink uh, 5D sleeve has cards for you to keep. The red sleeves are cards that I would like signed and sent back. However, the red sleeve that only has one card in it should be open and signed and signed last if you're opening it in a video, which is what I'm hoping for. I open all these videos, dude. Everything you guys send me, I open. Um, it contains a card that I've never quite understood the use of, even after hours of online research, so if you could explain it on video, that would be very helpful. Uh, thanks for all of the awesomeness vids, and ke uh, keep it up, brother. God bless. Sincerely, Kale. Ooh, that was a mouthful, <laughs> but dude, thank you so much. No, I, I actually like these long letters a lot. I like I like reading you guys' like stories. Everyone's Yu-Gi-Oh stories are like uh, they're so different. They're, they're like so interesting, you know, very very interesting. But oh hey, so he sent me uh, Elemental Hero uh, Neo Bubble Man, Elemental Hero Avion, uh, Burstinatrix, a uh, Spark Man, a Hero Neos, Vision Hero Adoration, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Assault Wyvern, Dragon Master Knight, very cool. Is your eyes Silver Dragon, uh, Blue Chaos Max Dragon, and then hey, <laughs> a fake Kaiba and a fake uh, Pegasus. Very cool. <laughs> very, very cool. I actually have, I think I have both of these myself from all the fake cards you guys have sent me. Uh, let's go ahead and get all these signed, though. Alright, I got all of those signed. Let's see what he sent me, then let's see what card he's talking about. Oh, hey! Twin Long Rods, uh, Boneheimer, with <laughs> Boneheimer, Ghidorah X, the Dragon of Demolition, and a Kiryu. I, I like Kiryu a lot, because uh, Kiryu and uh, Pitch Dark Dragon, because uh, Dark Blade was one of my uh, favorite cards when I was a kid. But yeah, dude, thank you so much for these. So much and then let's see what uh let's see what he's on about oh pot of green whatever dude <laughs> He goes, he goes after years of research, I have whatever. <laughs> you know what this does. But thank you so much for the cards. Thank you so much for the mail. I will be sure to get all of this back to you. All right, you guys, last thing. We have this box. I have no idea what is in this. I can't wait to see. This is gonna be so cool. If I can even figure out how to get this open. There we go, there we go. It says fragile on the top of it, so I'm gonna try to be very, very careful. Um, although it feels like he's got like some packaging stuff in here or something, because the box, I mean, really didn't shake around or anything. Uh, so I think it should be fine. All right, yeah, so he did have packaging stuff in here. Lots, of, oh, hey, I have bubble wrap to pop now. Awesome. <laughs> all right, so what is this? So all this is just, okay, so just a bunch of bubble wrap for me to pop. Great. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bubble wrap. Wow, that's a lot of bubble wrap. Wow. All right, let's, let's, what is, what even is this, guys? What, what, what did you send me? <laughs> what is this? This is from a Brian, so from a Brian. Brian, what did you send me, dude? <laughs> All right, here, let's, let's see. Try to be very careful with it. Looks like it sent some cards, something. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Okay, 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 okay. I actually I actually know what this is now, I think. Hold on, let me, let me, let me open this up and be sure, though. Yep, yep, I was right, okay. So what this is, is it's an actual deck box <laughs> that uh, my fan, uh, one of my fans, he actually started um, his own little business. Yep, so more bubble wrap. Dude, I have so much bubble wrap to pop now. He started like his own business. I've, I've pimped it in Mail Monday before. It's where he makes these uh, custom deck boxes. He was actually inspired by, uh, hold on, inspired by my deck box, you know, this one, this really old crappy one <laughs> that I didn't even make. But uh, yeah, he was inspired by that and ended up, uh, uh, you know, making making these awesome deck boxes. Dude, and he sent me one. This is so awesome. So now I have another deck box and this one's all shiny. It's like way, it's way better than my old crappy one. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's got, got all like foil cards and stuff. Dude, thank you so, so much. Uh, once again, this is awesome. If you guys want to check out his Facebook page, though, uh, his Facebook page is called Uber Deck Boxes. Now have it linked down in the comment section. But I want to thank everybody so much who sends me uh, all this mail. You guys send me awesome cards to sign. You guys send me awesome stuff to keep. Like, it's amazing. I have the best fans on the planet. Like, by far, leaps and bounds, best fans on the planet. Thank you so, so much. I cannot wait until next week, guys. But until then, be sure to dick slap that like button and subscribe.